So my name is Kimberly Bash, and I'm a program director, um, actually program director of Collective Impact and Community Collaboration, which tells a bit about my role here um, on the um, side where we work with community partners um, to help develop um, grant ideas based on community um, priorities and needs. So whether that be nonprofit organizations, coalitions, public-private partnerships, um, working with them and then putting grant recommendations before my board so that they can make their grant decisions. So for those of you that remember the, the flood, um, and I'm in particularly looking at the one in August of 2007, yeah. um, because Hancock County is kind of a, like a bull going right. into Finley, it started um, in the Arlington or the, the southern area of the county and ended up the next day coming here. So I was uh, woken um, early morning hours. It's still dark out. Um, my bedroom is up on the second floor and the, there was floodlights in my backyard, which was very, very strange, you know. And uh, so I looked out and the whole backyard is full of water. I mean, really high. And there are men in canoes <laughs> with lights um, floating through my backyard. So um, I immediately got up and uh, went to the front of the house and looked down in, into um, where the driveway is. And um, my house is split into two, so I live on one side and my aunt and uncle and cousins live on the other side. And so my car was parked by my cousins and my car was floating in the drive um, beside hers. And um, because of the semis coming down, I live right on 68 there in Arlington, and uh, the semis were causing wakes with the water and having our vehicles kind of smash into one another. Um, it clearly had happened very quickly, um, but the fire department was already out. And it, it just so happens that my cousin is a volunteer fireman in Arlington, and he had con he contacted me then and, and said, we need to get you out. Um, get all of your medications together, um, come downstairs, and we'll get you. So I kind of threw things together, came down the back, and um, opened the door to the garage, and the water was really high. So um, with the way that the steps go down, you open the door, and then there's another no steps that go down, and, and the water was up to that second level already in the garage. So I had to kind of jump over that into a canoe that um, actually Kevin Hogg, who's now the superintendent of Arlington Schools, um, he's also a volunteer fireman and he was in the, in the canoe. And so I got in there and they took me over to across the street because um, I live right across from the school. Right. And they took me over to um, high ground right where the entrance of the school is, is, is higher. So that was kind of uh, dry up there and I ended up then walking um, still in the dark, <laughs> to my cousin's house who lived on the other side of town where it hadn't, uh, the water hadn't hit quite as high. So it was just a, it, it, no warning whatsoever. Um, fairly traumatic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there ended up being, um, I don't know, th three, four uh, feet um, in places uh, because of the garage, but then two feet within the house, all the way through the house, um, where drywall had to be ultimately when the water came down, um, replaced. But um, I called the office right away and mm -hmm. said there's a state of emergency in Arlington and they were like, what? Because mm -hmm. they had no idea. I said, well, um, it is. I told them what, you know, what had happened yeah. and I said, it's coming your way. And uh, you know, hopefully you can start to, to plan, but I, I'm not gonna be in the office today. <laughs> but people were walking through, mm -hmm. kids that were ended up playing in it and we just sure. didn't know what was in the water. But it was so frustrating because of the semis and, and trucks coming down 68, yeah. Um, so that was happening with all of the homes because not only did it cause things like that where the cars would um, be, you know, hit hit one another, but it was causing wakes where big waves were coming back into people's houses. So you had residents all up and down 68 that were going out into the middle of the highway, which of course isn't safe. But they were saying, please, they were getting in front of vehicles, please, please stop. You don't understand that you're literally causing waves to come and crash into the homes. I, again, it was, it was you're, you're almost in shock, you know. Um, so it, it, it's pretty, you know, you know traumatic. Um, I think I was one of the fortunate ones because of the way that my house is, all of my stuff is up on the second floor. So um, except for my vehicle, which I lost, um, I didn't have a lot of other um, lost property. I think we really are fortunate here in Hancock County when I think of, of what happened 
um, in how churches and children and people of all ages, and again, the people that were traumatically impacted lost a lot, but, but they kind of stopped to go help their neighbor with what was going on with them. And I think that's beautiful. I think it just shows again the, um, the special place that we reside in um, and the resiliency, I guess, of it too. Um, there's always um, others that have it harder than you. And I think, you know, you gotta figure out, okay, how do we, how do we come together to overcome, you know, what, what we've gone through?